Hello my friends, welcome to Savers. I don't know if you guys can tell a difference, but they switch things around. Um, they've got all of the bags on this wall over here as to where it used to be right here where all these new summer sandals and shoes are. Are these Tory Burch? No. I do have a pair like this that are Tory Burch though. So yeah, it's kind of cool. They're getting all the summer stuff out. Um, it's definitely been summer this past few days, but now we've got some rain and cool weather coming in, which I love. So, oh, these are adorable. Hava Havaianas, is that how you say it? They look like they look like something you wear for with your wedding dress at the beach or something. Here in California, anyways. Those are very cute. But I got some cute things in my cart, you guys, that I'm going to be picking up for you. One of them being a Tory Burch. I've got Coat. I've got DKNY. These, you guys, are super comfortable. I've had these before in the past. They're really, really comfy. But, alright, let's turn the cart around and we will go show you some bags. Start the killing. Hey, buddy. <laughs> All right, guys, back to the purses. I was just chatting it up with some few of my, I was gonna say co-workers, a few of my friends that work here. When you come here all the time, like I do, to these different stores, you meet everybody and you get to know them. No, I don't get special discounts or do they don't hold things for me like somebody was saying that they take the good bags and hold them in the back. Dude, they'd all get fired if they did that. And it's the managers that I talk to a lot. So, yeah, they, they can't lose their jobs over me wanting to thrift a bag. Absolutely not. But it is very nice just having a lot of friends to talk to when I come here. Um, so, yeah. Oh, you guys, what do you think of this? I don't usually like Vera Bradley, but this is so cute. It's purple paisley like a hand style and it's got the uh, patent leather and a crossbody strap it's got pockets in the front so i'm totally going to get that one so cute then there's this um rubber i think rubber bags are hideous but i don't know maybe not everybody but ugh. um it's supposed to look like a chanel obviously but it is rubber bags are not my deal at all um and then here's a very fake gucci and uh okay kim how can you tell it's fake well i can just tell by looking at it but if you really wanted to get into detail here's what i see first of all the lining here is plastic and how do you know it's plastic because it's peeling like that okay leather genuine leather doesn't peel uh the cross stitching in the material is completely way too spread apart um Let's see, I'm trying to think of like all the different things. The stitching is wrong. I mean, just everything's wrong with this bag. Everything, everything. But that's like the major things. Gucci, a, a, an authentic Gucci will not do that. So there you have that. I got some cuties in my, in my um, basket though. This is a little fossil, but I'm not getting it because it's small and it's just a canvas style and I know most of you for fossil you want your leather so I'm sticking to leather fossil and I do have a fossil item in my cart for you Let's see guess that's actually a cute little guess beauty style oh my gosh I had this years and years ago had that same little Roxy bag. Gosh, I think my daughter was just super, super young when I had it. What is this? Catherine, Catherine Maglarino, something like that. I saw this bag too, and I just thought it was way cute because I love camo. That's faux leather. Um, there's no name in it. And I don't even see, oh, there's a price. The price is 18 bucks. It's cute, but I'm not getting it. And then um, this Calvin Klein's really nice down here. This one's super nice. 
but it's missing the crossbody strap and I don't have one right now that matches so I'm not gonna get this one pretty really pretty bag though let's see what else do we see okay so this bag is kind of cool um, except for the staining on it I'm not I don't like this. There's a stain right there, but it's a, definitely a different color. It's got like brass chain on it. It's kind of cool, right? With the stitching all the way around it. And it is by... Oh, there we go. Here's who it's by. But if it was a different color, and cleaner, I'd probably get it. Just cause it's a, it's a um, different, different kind of style. And I like getting things that are different. Not everything quite the same all the time. Loving this little bamboo uh, clutch with brown suede. It's got my favorite little closure. That's got a little leather post closure. It's ten dollars, um, and you can only fit your essentials in it. I don't know if anybody would want this or not, but it's just so darn cute. It's very 70s. It's definitely a bag from the 70s. It's vintage. Even got the little um, Velcro, and then you put all your little goodies in there. Should I just get it, you guys? And it's by. It just says genuine leather on it. Made in Hong Kong. Super, super 70s though, and that's why I love that. What do you guys think? That's a maybe. Let's see, what do we got going on up here at the top? There's a little leather Barney's New York. Genuine leather, little dinky. Um, a style. Let's see what it looks like. So, needs a crossbody strap. I mean, it's got the little rivets, little D rings for crossbody. This is a tiny little guy. Super cute. No pockets on the inside, and it's made in India. It's just so cute because it's so tiny. But I'm going to pass on it because I don't have a little tiny black leather crossbody strap. Alright, what do we have here? This one is making me wonder a little bit. Um, this one is making me wonder a little bit too. It's filthy on the inside. I don't need to have somebody come over and maybe take these down. And I can see better. I don't know. What do you guys think of this? Let's flip the. Is it supposed to say something right there? Um, maybe on this side. Hmm. Man, filthy. This would, this is called the mini Lin. I know that. Let's see what's on this side over here. Hmm. 
So there's these two. I'm sure they're probably both fake, but I'm going to um, definitely check them out further and see. 200 for this one. And 160 for this one. So they're supposed to be a crossbody strap, it looks like. Right? Like this one? Hmm. This is what's on the in inside of the mini one. So I did a ton, a ton of research on this one and where are these serial numbers supposed to be? I did not find one at all. Um, other than that, this bag looks, it would have fooled me for sure. But this one is fake. But the mini limb that was hanging here is a real deal. Um, oh, it took me forever, but I finally found the serial number on it and I will put a picture right here for you to see. And yeah. Okay guys, it's the haul portion of the video and I know everybody's gonna want to see the Louis Vuitton first, probably anyways. So, it took me forever. I went online and I was Googling and then I actually called a friend that um, is really good at, at authentic authenticating Louis Vuitton. So I'm going to, if I remember, put a picture of a screenshot I took of the number. I'm gonna try to show you up close. Well, first, let me show you the bag. Let me show you the bag. This is a Louis Vuitton Mini Lin, uh, is it the Speedy? I don't know if it's called the Speedy or not, but it's like the um, dark jacquard fabric with an ivory LV. It's so cute. It's got the double zips like this. It's kind of a framed, it has like a framed detail to it at the top so it's got the two zippers I paid I paid a lot for it but when I went online they're selling for around 500 and that's what I paid um, everything checks out 100% authentic I'm so so excited um, let's see let's start with well, First of all, you can just tell by the quality, but I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up and show you the code is right. It's so hard to find because it's a vintage bag and it's really, really worn in. Where is it at? Where are you at? Where are you at? It's here, I promise you, because I took a screenshot of it. Like I said, it's tough, really, really hard to see. Oh, here it is. So let me try to get the leather where you can see it. I'm hoping you guys can see this okay. But it's right, right there. Can you guys see that right there? That's the date code. Okay. And then I'm gonna have to go home and get a really, really close look just so I can make out the letters and the numbers perfectly. But this is the bag, so I am super excited to have found this. Never found a mini Lynn before, and it's just adorable. It's got the LV feet on the bottom. And then the little zipper pocket right here. And then I will show you again the embossed little tag on the inside and it's got the little vintage cell phone pocket right here and uh, maybe this doesn't come with the crossbody strap I don't think it does or does it does it come is it supposed to have a crossbody strap with it because it's got these little hooks on it I don't know I've got to do more research on it my main thing was finding out it was authentic before I purchased it um, and it's definitely authentic, so we're good with that. I'm gonna keep the price on there for now. 
leather trim, black leather trim. I'm going to take it home, clean it up, and she's going to be beautiful when I'm done. That, my friends, is just the beginning. Look at this vintage coach. This red pebbled bag is so pretty with the brown strap on it. Isn't it so cute, you guys? I love the handle on it. It's adorable. And then a magnetic flap. It's two pockets. It still has got the little hang tag. And then the inside is super clean with two open pockets and Coach Creed. The pebbled leather on this is so pretty. And that right there will come right off. It's just a little, I just got to go home and clean that off. But that's the only thing that's wrong with it is just that little mark that'll wipe off. But so pretty. Okay. Um, oh, the Vera Bradley. I'm sure somebody's gonna love this. If you don't, I do. I, I really do like this. Love the style of bag. It's so cute with the purple paisleys. And it's got these two front pockets on it right here. The little patent purple trim. It's in brand new condition. It's got the little shoulder crossbody strap on it. You know what? I used to have this one in, I think it was called Sitting in a Tree. It was kind of like a khaki and little yellow birds, and I love this bag. And it's got a zipper pocket and one, two, three inner compartments. Brand new condition by Vera Bradley. I really think it's adorable. Um, I got so many cute things. Oh, I bought this. This bracelet is for a friend. I picked it up for her. She wanted this bracelet, so I gotta give it to her tomorrow. Kind of cool. It's like super magnetic, but that's what that looks like. And it was $5.99. So like I said, that's for a friend. That was behind the counter. This Michael Kors is brand spanking new. And this is one of my best selling coats. Black Safiano with silver hardware. Perfectly new condition. Isn't it nice? It's got the two side pockets. Um, everything on it is perfect. Handles, zippers, interior. So there is a large compartment here. And then, oh, it's even got all the, oh boy, the tissue is going in the garbage. Look at, is this the receipt for it? No. It's got the care cards in the pocket, so they left that in there for you. Let's see, if, I've been getting lucky lately with stuff in bags. Nothing in this one, but it is in excellent condition. That's a key lanyard right there. A little wristlet lanyard. Perfect, perfect condition. Maybe there's something in the side pocket. There is something in the side pocket. A piece of candy and a hair clip. And there's something over here too, which appears to be a note. Maybe it's a love note. says you're extraordinary you guys think somebody put that in there for the person for me <laughs> the person buying the bag okay here's another little gadget that's gonna go in my planner my little planner book I have that I put special things in how cute is that how cute is that stuff like that is so cool thank you to the person who put that in here or if maybe it was something that somebody gave you and you didn't take it out anyway we're just gonna leave that in there until I get home and we're gonna put it in my little planner book. Okay, this coach, super cute. I love the leather on this. Crossbody and a tan smooth leather. It's this coach right there. Front zipper. 
really clean. Um, those will wipe right off, just little spots that need to be wiped off. And the inside has little jibbles of paper and I can just clean that right out. That'll shake right out. And it's got a nice crossbody strap. So there's that coach. And that ain't it, y'all. That ain't it. I got this coach. She's a beauty. This one is. Love the pockets on this one. So there's the top. And then I'm sure I'll have a some sort of a crossbody, a black one. I just have to um, give her a little moisturizing and cleaning. She's gonna look like brand new. Little satchel, smooth leather. This bag's gonna be really, really pretty when I'm done with her. So there's this pocket with just crumbs in it. And then the center compartment with the Creed 1-2 pockets and a zipper. I'm gonna dig in here and see if there's anything. Just little crumbs again. Somebody likes crackers with this purse. Maybe they had a little one. Zipper pocket. And then this pocket has nothing in it. Really pretty, right, you guys? And is it a factory bag? It is not a factory bag. So there's that one. Let's do, I've got one, two, three wallets. Got this fossil, brown leather wallet. This is a snap. A Safiano leather interior. And then all the credit card slots. Got that fossil wallet. Got this fossil wallet. In a burgundy leather. This is a really nice style compact wallet. Zipper for your coin, silver hardware. Opens like this. All right, let's take a look. Nothing. I'm, I'm checking like everything when I get to the car now. Oh, there's more here. Good Lord, one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 credit card slots, not including all the little open pockets. Do I hear anything crinkling anywhere? No. Nope, we're good. We're good to go on that one. So that's my little burgundy leather fossil. And then this one I picked up because you guys just saw, if you were watching the haul I did, I um, got a Donna Karen New York bag, a really pretty satchel bag in Safiano leather. So maybe you guys would like a matching wallet. And it is also DKNY. And I think I've sold this one in the past, but it's nice because there's money in it. penny and a dime and a penny just fell on the floor so this is what this wallet looks like and then you've got this section as well so that's really nice and then you can use it as a wristlet your cell phone will fit in it and I'm gonna take it home and clean it up it's really really soft 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 okay this bag is gorgeous. I've got to look it up, but I knew it was quality the second I picked it up. And the name on this is Mondaloo London. Look at the leather on this bag. This is also a satchel with the crossbody strap, adjustable. Ah. 
front pocket. Front pocket. Back, ooh, the inside's really pretty. Really pretty interior. And then, let's zip this up and show you what this looks like. Quick shut. Okay, looks like that. There's a little spots right here. Who cares? I don't. And if you do, I'll keep the bag. Not a problem. This thing's beautiful. Here's the center compartment. It's got little shells. Little satin shells in it. Like, on the material. Okay, and then there's this pocket. Wow. A lot of goodies. Oh, we have a pen. Paper mate pen. So there's two slip pockets, two, and then this large zip compartment. A lot to this bag. And there are some wear on the corners, which I love. And then look at the handles on it. Look how pretty that is. Beautiful bag. All right, and then the next one that I have, well, I don't know what this one's worth, I'll have to look it up, but never fear, Kim is here. Tory Birch, this bag, I had no idea about this bag until I Googled it. This one is selling up to $500. Uh, I already forgot the name of it, because <laughs> that's what I do, but, it is a velour celestial or something like that. What was the name of this? You guys will find it. You can screenshot this and then you can Google it and you're going to see the amazingness and prices of this bag. Um, it's so pretty. You can wear it on your shoulder. It's got the pocket on the back, magnetic, magnetic snap, snap pocket on the back. And it's blue and kind of a goldish color and that gorgeous purple and it's got like the moon and oh it's so pretty it's got the little charm tassel the Tory Burch tassel and the inside is gorgeous and the inside has two slip which could be credit card pockets and a zipper pocket you guys see that right there this is Tory Burch and it's in brand new condition it looks like it's never ever been used and I love it so pretty so so pretty and that's my haul you guys wow. it's the citrine I'm telling you you guys need to get yourself some citrine so crossbody or shoulder bag, beautiful. All right, you guys, we're gonna get home and get this loaded for you. I got groceries in the trunk, time to cook me some dinner, cook the family some dinner, and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Thanks everybody so much for sticking with me and have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye everybody.